Hi there guys, my name is Ryan JC and in this astral projection experience we're going to be talking about something that happens a lot with people when it comes to astral projection and that is a very simple, quick astral projection. An astral projection that isn't so long when it comes to how you're experiencing the actual initial state when it comes to you popping out of your body. Now, it pretty much went like this. Okay, I was sat on my computer and I found myself talking about these astral projection experiences within my Skype calls, my Skype consultations, and I thought I've never actually put this one on my YouTube channel. Okay, so in this astral projection experience, what I basically just did was I did my four-step system like I, like I normally do, and then I just swung my legs out of my body. Okay, now, after dodging everything that's in my room that could potentially trip me up, I tend to look around my room for slight changes. You know, slight changes in my environment, slight changes in colour. After I briefly just blitzed to my room and I've looked everywhere, I, I then often just take a step outside my door after then looking down the stairs for anyone, literally anyone, whether it be entities, whether it be parallel versions or family members, whether it be family members who can't see me because I'm in ghost form. And the funny story about that, a lot of people actually hear my footsteps as I'm running up and down the stairs in astral form, only then to later on step out of their room to see who it was, just to see that literally no one is there. And it's hilarious because a lot of people in my household get the chills when this happens because they, they kind of freak out because it's like I'm haunting my own house, which is, which is hilarious. But then I'll, I'll walk down my stairs, okay? Now, I'm very cautious of who's in my house. I'm very excited as to see who it is or what it is I can interact with, okay? So I'll be looking around for people. I'll be looking around for entities, right? And then on this brief occasion, on this brief moment, I decided to walk down my hallway, and I noticed one strange thing. In my kitchen, there were these brief static-like clouds, 360 degrees in nature, and I could hear my family members' voices coming from them, right? So obviously I'm seeing from the spirit realm, or like most people like to call it, or I like to call it the astral realm, I'm, I'm, on looking, I'm looking for my family members. I can hear them, I can slightly see them, but I can't see them a whole bunch. I can't see them a lot. They're not quite focused yet. Okay, so I looked to my left and clearly someone's been cooking. They've left the stove on. And I decided to think, right, I'm not in my physical body. What would happen if I stuck my hands in the flames? If I, if I stuck my hands in the fire, would, would it burn? Would I be fine? So I, I literally took these hands. <laughs> I just placed them in the burning blue flames. I didn't feel anything. To my surprise, I couldn't even feel the flames. And the more I put my hands through the flames, the more I, I focused on trying to feel something from the astral realm into the physical, nothing happened. No matter how many times I would touch the stove with my bare hands, literally my astral body was harmless. It was like my astral body was just too resilient to these effects of 3D, okay? Which is kind of funny because in one of my other videos I talk about how I face a shadow being. Now these shadow beings are not topers, these shadow beings are not thought forms created by a single individual who's having the astral projection experience. And at that time my astral body got tested because I actually went through the wall with my astral body, which was pretty cool, and I went flying, hurtling towards, towards space. If you want to hear about that story, go check it out. I think I talked about it in How to Astral Project Crash Course. It was my first one I uploaded last year. It's in there. A lot of you already know what I'm talking about. Long story short, after I've walked around, after I've seen everything, I then ended up phasing back into my body. Now, this was a very brief experience, but I'm just letting you guys know how resilient your astral body is. Because a lot of people, they get excited. They get excited about astral projection. They get excited about what it is that they could potentially be experiencing. And I know how this feels because... When I used to do it pretty much every day when I was really into it, I mean, recently, the last time I did a national projection experience on purpose was January. It's now February. And the last time I did it by accident was February the 26th, I believe, which was a very funny story, which I may talk about in another video. Every now and then, I take these gaps, I take these breaks, and I start telling people how to do it. I start making these videos, start making actual projection experiences. But when I first started doing it, I started doing it a lot. And when I first started doing it, I started getting very excited. 
And every now and then, I would be limited as to what I thought I would be able to do based upon my own perception. I still walk into the astral realms with a 3D perception. Like, I would see people in the astral realms walking. And it's like, why are you walking? You can fly. And then for, I, can, I can see where they're coming from, because from a brief standpoint, from a brief type of perception moment that I used to have when I used to begin the astral projections that I used to do, I too myself was walking around. I too myself wasn't flying or teleporting or walking through walls. So I can see where they're coming from from that standpoint. And I just want you guys to know that you can do anything you want. I mean, I flew to my best friend's house in six seconds. Maybe, maybe less. I, I, maybe less. I walked downstairs. I saw my feet on the ground. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get there quicker. I'm not, I'm not going to take my time this time. And I literally just... Just jumped a little bit. I just jumped a little bit and I just completely came off the ground. And it was like I turned into a hot air balloon because I felt incredibly light. The next thing I know is I'm leaning forward towards these telephone cables, right? And I'm trying to steer my body to fly quick. And all of a sudden I start picking up speed. I'm in mean like Mark 9 kind of thing. It's stupidly fast. And as I'm getting a overview of the entire area, I can see which direction my friend's house is in, right? And then I just... Incredibly fast. Yeah. And then when I came back, I was walking around for like a good, a good hour on my tiptoes because I still felt light in my physical body, which made me think. I wonder what would happen if I did it enough times. I wonder how my physical body would change. And I wonder if after a while, I could learn how to do it in 3D. Tom Ryan JC, this is going to be about doing it for his actual projection experience. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, comment below. Oh yeah, one more thing. There is a loophole. I found a loophole. I tried to do an actual projection recap recently and everything kept going wrong for some ridiculous reason. And then I found a way to do this properly. It goes like this. I want you guys, because I get a lot of questions, I want you guys to videotape yourself. Okay, videotape yourself asking me the question and send it to me. I'll put it at the end of one of these actual projection videos. And then what I'll do is, literally after I finish telling my stories, I'll address you, I'll, I'll pop you up on my screen, and then I'll then proceed within the video to answer your questions. Because I get a lot of questions, I don't often answer questions, especially on my Facebook, people who are nuts on questions. Reason being is because I can sit there for a good four or five hours asking one person's questions. When you get a lot of questions, you ain't got much time to do anything. If you got the questions, I have the answers. Make a video. Send it me via email. Send it me via Skype. You can send it me through Facebook, I believe. Just, just find a way to get your face on my videos. And I'll speak to you guys pretty soon.